The hex editor extension for VS Code includes a data inspector that lets you view bytes in different formats. You can use this to view the bytes as signed or unsigned integers of various lengths, as floating point values, or even as string characters. Let's take a look at this feature. So here I've installed the hex editor extension, and I'm going to go open up a binary file inside of the hex editor. So I'll switch to an image file, and then I'll use the command palette with Control shift p or command shift p to say reopen with, and I want view reopen editor with, and then I'll select the hex editor from the list here. Now I've reopened that image file inside of the hex editor, so you can see all of our binary data is being displayed. To start inspecting my binary data, I can just click on one of the bytes in either column, so over here in the actual hex data, or over here in the decoded text. This will open a data inspector over to the right-hand side. Now the data inspector is going to show us how the currently selected byte would be interpreted in various data formats. So it has two columns. Over on the left-hand side is the type, and then on the right-hand side is the value of the currently selected byte, as if it were interpreted in, in that type. So for here, for example, we have UN8, so an unsigned integer that is 8 bits long. If the currently selected byte was interpreted as an unsigned integer that is 8 bits long, it would go and resolve to the value of 23. Now we can actually look through the list and see some of the other types here. So we have UN16, so that's an unsigned integer that is 16 bits long, even down to things like int32, so that is a signed integer that is 32 bits long. For these longer types, it is actually going to have to look at multiple bytes. So um, it is going to look at the next four bytes here to actually figure out what an int32 would look like, and then go and show the representation of those bytes inside of the data inspector over here. So again, this is these four bytes um, being interpreted as an int32. Now the data inspector will update live as I move around the file. So I can just kind of click over here in the hex columns or use my arrow keys to navigate through the file. And the data inspector is going to update as I'm moving along. So it's always going to reflect the currently selected byte. If we look over in the data inspector, one other option to note is that you can switch between little endian and big endian mode. It's going to start interpreting the data in little endian mode, but you can actually turn on big endian mode just by turning that off. And now it's going to change how all these values are being interpreted. So that's a quick introduction to the data inspector from VS Code's hex editor extension.